inside your plastic parts bag here that came in the box with the package slip, you're going to have a screed that we're going to throw out because we don't need it. You're going to have a brass nut, a ferrule. The ferrule could be white or it could be black, and a brass sleeve. Sometimes the sleeves are also plastic. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your bride line, you're going to slip the nut over the top, you're going to take your white ferrule with a tapered end, face it outward so the flat end goes over the top of the tube. You're going to take your sleeve, stick it in the tube, and then what we're going to do You're going to stick it inside your bride line here. Slide it up. Tighten it down. And then when we're done doing that, we're going to just snug it up with a wrench. And then what we're going to do. We're going to take the other end of our bride line. We're going to turn our bride tank to the side here. And this bride tank here has a quick connect. You don't need any fittings or anything on this. Okay. This here. You just leave open. So all you do is stick it in the hole. Push it in nice and tight. It'll snap into place. Pull on it. Make sure it's tight. It's nice and tight. Now your bright light is hooked up. Now, on the installation, basically what we did here is we cut the main line coming up. We put a shutoff valve in. We put a hose bib in there for watering plants and stuff like that because we are on well water out here. We follow that line. We put a second hose bib in also for watering plants and maybe to run irrigation off later. Because we're on well water, we're concerned about sediment and sand plugging up our filter. So we put a Rusco sand separator in, which you can find on our website under sand separators. It has a blow down valve on the bottom that comes with it. So the water runs through that, and it comes up, it goes into the bypass here, where the arrow is pointed inward. And this is our carbon filter. The carbon filter is going to remove uh, the pesticides, herbicides, petroleum products, sulfur, if you have sulfur up to a certain point, and heavy metals. Uh, if you're on city water, it'll remove chlorine and pesticides, herbicides, uh, and heavy metals such as lead. Okay. This could also be a iron filter, or it could be a pH filter, a calcite filter as well. They're all the same. It's just different medias. Okay. So coming out of here, we run out, and we run over. And we go into the inlet side of our water softener. Coming out of our water softener, see the arrow there, come back out, follow the line. And we put another hose bed. That's our soft water hose bed. That's for washing our cars and wash it down the windows of the house, whatever we want to do with soft water. And then back into the ground to the house. On the drain line, what we did here is we teed the drains together. So we came out of the filter, looped over, 
and we put a T in here and we ran a line from the water softener here with hose clamps. You want hose clamps on both of those. There's one over there too. Came out, ran along the line here, and then we ran it into our sewer line. So that's it for now. Now we're going to do the startup procedure and uh, I'm going to videotape that as well. Thank you.